Donna Parks is glad to be walking without pain again. It came on gradually. The first sensation I had was heaviness in my right leg. My left leg started feeling heavy after probably a couple of years of the heaviness, maybe three. I started having the sharp pains in my calves. A retired pediatrician, Dr. Parks began seeing Dr. vascular Dr. surgeon Dr. Gregory Pearl for her condition. Peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial referring to arteries outside the heart and the brain. It's typically due to atherosclerosis or a plaque buildup inside the blood vessels. Let's have you lay back a second for me. Patients with peripheral artery disease, sometimes referred to as PAD, may not know they have it. When they do have symptoms, it is most often intermittent claudication, the formal name for the heaviness and pain that Dr. Parks felt. African Americans and people over 50 are at greater risk of developing PAD. Other factors that increase risk are smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol or triglycerides, high levels of an amino acid called homocysteine, and obesity. The ankle brachial index is one of the first tests vascular surgeons use to confirm PAD. It compares the blood pressure in the arms with that in the legs. Other tests include duplex ultrasound, pulse volume recording, MRA, and CT scans. Another test, angiography, is used for patients with severe PAD. Doctors also order blood tests because patients with PAD are more likely to have blockages in other arteries. It does place them at increased risk for other cardiovascular uh, events, uh, such as heart attack and stroke. If you are diagnosed with PAD, your vascular surgeon may start treatment with a walking program and encourage other lifestyle changes, such as quitting smoking, to help improve symptoms. You may also need medicine to lower cholesterol or blood pressure, or to reduce clotting in narrowed arteries. In some cases, vascular surgeons may recommend angioplasty and stenting to open blocked arteries. Some patients may need bypass surgery. Surgeons may also operate to remove plaque in the arteries. Surgery plus angioplasty and stenting relieve Donna Park's leg pain, and she set a new goal for walking. To get back to the two or three miles a day that I was doing before I started having this problem, Ask your doctor about your risks for vascular disease. Visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular specialist and learn more about vascular wellness.